Hi, welcome to this episode of Building a Custom Mandolin here at Rattles Mandolins. And for those of you who have not been keeping up with the series, we're doing a series of uh, videos in which we're going to build this particular mandolin, a nice custom fully inlaid mandolin, and, uh, and follow ourselves as we do it. Uh, the point that we're at right now is that we have the body completely done and we're starting to work on the neck. I have actually started a little bit of inlay right here in the corner and uh, see how that mates up with the uh, inlay that we have in the body. I'll give you a, a couple of close-up shots there so that you can see this particular joint really good. And so now it's time to move on. I think we'll go ahead and do the inlay that goes up in this upper corner now on both sides and start the inlay headed up the side of the neck. And then I don't know, we may glue the neck in or just continue on with the neck and the body completely apart. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. But that's where we're at right now and that's where we're headed. While I was inlaying this little bit right here, I had it in my little holding jig, and I noticed that it kept wanting to roll and give me a lot of trouble trying to hold it steady and everything. So, I took me a couple of two-by-fours, a little spring hinge and some leather cobs, and made a little holder jig here. And I could actually slip the neck down in, and then clamp the whole mess into the holder clamp here. And so with a couple of two-by-fours, I've solved my problem. Now it's nice and steady, and I can work on it again. My little jig worked wonderfully, and now I have the neck heel inlaid completely all the way down to, oh, five or six inches down the neck. And so, I have decided that it's time to glue the neck in. I've assembled all of the stuff that I need, and we're going to glue the neck in. So, we'll just get started right now. Okay, here we go. We're going to mark right here where we want the glue to be, and put some glue on. Smeared around a bit here and there. Snip everything together. Uh, 
And now we have to get in there and find those attachment screws. And screw them in with this big long screwdriver. And this is going to be the hard part. There's the first one. I've got the second one. You go back in there and snug that first one up again. And now we just have to clean up the excess glue, of which there's plenty. As you can see, it's squirting out everywhere. Now I have some water here in a rag. Clean everything up real good. And now, the only thing left to do is reattach this little piece of binding right here. Get us a good fit to cover up all that little mess. And the neck is installed. And having accomplished that much, I think this is where we'll end this video. Uh, 
Thank you so very much for watching. Be sure to watch for our future videos where we're going to tackle the uh, inlay in the peg head. We'll look for you then. See you later. Thank you.